What's going on, my fellow leaders? It's Starboy here with another review for you. Today, we're taking a look at Transformers Titans Return Deluxe Class Top Spin and Freeze Out. Top Spin and Freeze Out came out in 2017 as part of Wave 4 of the Deluxe Assortment. Top Spin comes with a Titan Master partner named Freeze Out, who is a standard Titan Master figure. By that, I mean he's completely unpainted in robot mode. The only spots of paint on his entire body is in head mode, which is a nicely crisp paint job, much like Scorchfire's. He has standard posability, a ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders, and hinges at his legs and knees. Topspin harkens to his 1985 self big time with his alternate mode. He turns into a vaguely Cybertronian analog for a jet, complete with the twin front forks found on his original form. The sculpted detail is exquisite, and the paintwork is just as good, and the quadruple thrusters on the back give this mode the oomph necessary to let me suspend my disbelief enough to believe this thing can actually fly. Here is a comparison with Transformers Dark of the Moon Deluxe Class Bumblebee. Just like Windblade and Shitpiece, Topspin can also interact with Freezeout. Topspin has an opening cockpit, though Freeze Out only fits in there if he raises arms. There is a Titan Master foot peg on each wing, and there are specially cut grooves in the rear for a Titan Master's heel piece to fit snugly. Topspin also comes with two guns, which I find look best slung under the wings, though you could place them on the sides of the rear. Topspin was a complete surprise to many. I believe the general expectations for the plucky jump starter were for a simple and straightforward transformation, but it is anything but. The torso rotation along with the waist swivel and arm conversion go above and beyond the high bar set by Trigger Happy, and I love how Hasbro kept raising the bar in this line. Gone are the days of a stock straight flip changer named Topspin, and here are the days of the beefy mother lover who takes everything about the original figure and amplifies its badassery a thousandfold. This robot mode hits all the marks of G1 Topspin, bulking up and tuning him to better suit his adventurous character in the Wrecker comics. The sculpt work is just as beautiful, and new detailing is found on the shoulders and chest with some killer paintwork. The only complaint I have about this mode is that I think his arms are just a hair too short, but it's a minor complaint at best. Here is a comparison with Transformers Dark of the Moon Deluxe Class Bumblebee. The two guns from vehicle mode can now be dual wielded, or they can combine into a quadruple barreled gun for maximum style. With his affinity for four of everything, I wonder if he likes echidnas. Top spin me right round right round on his extremely massive waist swivel. It gets a bit inhibited by his backpack, but works well enough nonetheless. Other than that, he has a ball-jointed head, ball-jointed shoulders, a bicep swivel, an impressive double-jointed elbow, ball-jointed legs, a thigh swivel, an adequate knee bend, and a toe bend. This means the top spin here can do pretty much anything you want him to, since his joints are dead solid. If Trigger Happy was considered a breath of fresh air in Titan's Return, then top spin would be the cans of air from Spaceballs compared to him. Topspin raised the bar for fun and intuitive deluxe class transformers, and wouldn't be matched for the rest of the line, except in the case of his mold mate Twin Twist. We'll get to him too. Eventually.